Different stakeholders from across Uganda's civil society have come together to react jointly to allegations by the Financial Intelligence Authority that two non-government organizations, the NGO Forum and Uganda Women's Network, had been implicated in terrorism financing. Action Aid Country Director Xavier Ejoi read the joint statement. We are fully conscious that the accusations are intended to delegitimize our work, blackmail us, and make us look bad in the eyes of citizens that we serve. We are also mindful that this is not an isolated incident, but a cascading of systematic and deliberate actions by the regime to clamp down on fundamental freedoms and citizens organizing. We want to state categorically that no amount of intimidation and false accusation, accusations can deter us from playing our civic responsibility. It's very unfortunate and we call upon government to immediately retract those allegations. This is an attack on the women of this country. Other than listing the accounts that the NGOs own, the letter by the FIA boss does not show any implicating evidence. If you say that an organization is financing terrorism activities and its leaders are free on the street, then you must be putting the people of this country in danger because you have terrorists walking around the street. <laughs> some of the activists claim that some of the telecos and banks are giving out information about them without following the right process. We've seen telecommunication companies sharing information with security agencies outside the parameters of the law and this information has been used to track trace, intimidate and harass activists and human rights defenders. We've also noted with concern that banks have gone ahead to enforce the extrajudicial and lawful orders of the FIA, violating their fiduciary responsibility to their clients. The forum further condemned other actions by the state that are against the law. We have observed with concern the brutal actions of the police and other security personnel against journalists covering the campaign trail, while some RDCs and DPCs have arbitrarily stopped radio stations from hosting opposition presidential candidates. In 2017, security operatives raided the offices of some NGOs and halted transactions on their accounts, but no conclusive evidence has ever been adduced against the organizations. There have been allegations that some NGOs are being used by foreign countries to destabilize Uganda. Is it Rwanda? Is it, U is it Kenya? Is it Tanzania? Is it South Sudan? Is it the Netherlands? Is it, is it, Somalia? Is it Somalia? Is it the US? Is it the UK? Name that foreign power. The civil society members have agreed on their next course of action. Also be able to use all available non-legal means that are lawful, including speaking to development partners who have fattened this beast. The Uganda Women's Network has been empowering women for over 25 years and during this campaign time they have been focusing on training women, especially those vying for various political positions, to remain competitive in a male-dominated political sphere. And now that their accounts have been frozen, it means that so many of the women are going to miss out, yet the country is a few weeks to the general elections. It is hoped that the Financial Intelligence Authority and other agencies are going to handle this matter expeditiously and change the state of affairs. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.